Hello? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Man came out of the forest and then he surrounded himself with a forest of things. Our husband, um, my, my dad, died um, in 1972, so for a long time she was on her own, just with me, um, and it definitely gave her a focus. Um, so she was really busy with the swimming clubs and um, teaching herself, and she taught right up till she was 85 as well. Um, and then the, the competitions were really important because she travelled all over the world with them. So she was 88, um, and we really miss her. Um, but uh, she was a, she's a good inspiration. And lots of people have actually said that to me as well. You know, if Janet's swimming and she's 88, um, I'll keep going. Probably, probably my mum's had a big influence in me doing the master swimming as well, so I now want to continue because she did it. It was a very safe environment. It was um, a bit strange at first, I guess, um, because there's lots of people dressed up, which is a bit odd. But um, yeah, it was a very, like, everyone seemed very friendly. There's lots of people just going up to each other and, like, hugging each other. And it didn't even seem like it was, like, friends or anything. They were just going and hugging people. And, um, like, as people were arriving, there was lots of people going over and, like, complimenting each other's outfits and seeing how good people looked and like people arriving by themselves and they felt comfortable going over to, to groups of people and telling them that they looked nice. Um, 
yeah, it just felt very, um, felt very like a community. I think there's like a very high percentage of um, cosplayers who, after having cosplay, have realised and come out as trans. Um, I've got a lot of very close friends who um, have been through that process and it was having a place where they weren't immediately like going to be get recognised as such that um, was really important to that process, having somewhere where they could just go and explore different gender expressions, different expressions of their sexuality, um, was super important. Not funny, Darren. I can't. Come on, help me here. Come on. Come on. Keep going. I think just it's... wait. Whoop. Got right, come on, get up. Come on, you <laughs> bastard. Right, come on. Oh. Come on, mate. Darren. Fuck, I've had enough. I've had enough, mate. I got, I got sick of this bloody blindfold. Where the hell are we? The waterfall's just over the other side of that ridge. Come on! Oh, I'm not going to wear the blindfold anymore. We've made it this far, so let's just do it, okay? Right, let's float the old bastard off then. Oh, my God. 